hello i got a request before to make a review of this necklace the cartier love necklace three diamonds but i postponed it and i waited till it reached its one year which is this month june 2022 i bought her last year june 2021 so happy anniversary to us my love cheers <laughs> welcome if you are new to this channel i do luxury fashion lifestyle related contents if you like these topics then you might want to give this video a thumbs up comment below videos you want to see and of course make sure to subscribe if you haven't already then hit that red bell on for new videos to my returning subscribers Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your continuous love and support for this channel and my IG account, link of which is in the description box below as well. So, let's now dive into the review. Like I mentioned, this Love Necklace Three Diamonds by Cartier has been in my collection for one year already. You can see in a while that it is obviously used but not abused. I love it since I laid my eyes on her until this day. And I will continue to adore this simple yet stunning piece until I get really, really, really old. <laughs> I know that this is on the Cartier website, but I just want to mention the description of this necklace. If you are interested also, you can watch my unboxing video. The link is up here. So this is in the Love Collection in 18 karat yellow gold set with three brilliant cut real diamonds totaling uh, 0 0.07 carats. You can actually see how shiny and beautiful the diamonds are despite of their small sizes. Based on my research, Cartier diamonds are exclusively chosen between D and H, meaning they are colorless with little or no fluorescence. The gold pendant's inner diameter is 16 mm and substantially heavy, very shiny since it has a smooth, high polish finish, therefore extremely prone to scratches as you can see in front and at the back. <laughs> No matter how much you try to avoid them, it's just the nature of the necklace, you know, and every piece of jewelry in the Cartier Love collection. The first time I used this for a week, it already had several fine scratches, particularly on the front area. At first, it's really annoying when you see a new scratch, but after a while, you just accept it. The scratches give the necklace character and a more lived-in look. The chain length, by the way, is 420 mm or 16.5 inches which i really prefer for this kind of design and look the necklace also comes in white yellow and pink gold non-pave semi-pave and pave
I chose three diamonds so the signature screw motifs can still be seen alternating with diamonds. I pick yellow gold because I'm a yellow gold girl, you know that. And this color absolutely matches my jewelry and it goes really well with anything and everything. Most of the time, I wear it alone on its own, but there were instances where I layer it with some of my necklaces, which I do love because I love layering as well. It's great that the love is engraved in the back of the pendant so you can wear it either side, but I prefer it the right way, which is the face with diamonds. So far, there's no dent yet on the necklace. I have no plan of having it serviced to look like new, given the removal of scratches involves removal of a fine layer of gold as well. Cartier recommends you do not have this service carried out more than twice in the lifetime of a piece of jewelry made of white or yellow gold but you can have it polished which will help restore the original shine and brilliance without altering its shape in our place it's sad that cleaning kits are not given for pieces without diamonds they'll tell you instead that these are intended for diamond cleaning only I didn't bother to ask the reason at the time, but I saw Amy's lifestyle cleaned her love bracelet with this kit. Hi, Amy. I don't know why, but maybe that's just how they handle things here in my place. So this pouch right here is where I store the necklace when not in use. It helps protect your jewelry from scratches when coming into contact with one another. This was actually for my love bracelet. They have no available stock for this necklace at the time. It's okay. But this pouch is great for travel, which I really, really love. Now let's talk about the price. I bought this necklace for $4,150 US dollars without tax last year, June 2021. So the total cost was around 4,700 US dollars. From June 2021 up to present, I'm not really sure if the price has gone up two or three times. I don't know, but the price right now is 4,500 US dollars without tax. If with tax, it would be around a whopping 5,175 US dollars. Wow. For sure, Cartier will continue to increase their jewelry prices like other jewelry brands. Whether you are interested in investing in their jewelry or looking to sell pieces you no longer wear, a question likely in your mind is, does Cartier jewelry hold its value? Is this or any Cartier jewelry an investment piece? In my opinion, yes, for the most part, its value actually increases over time, depending on when you purchase your Cartier piece. It could have increased in value over its retail value, you know. But even if your jewelry does not increase in value, it will hold much of it on the pre-owned luxury market. Why is it? I think its historical significance, prestige, and craftsmanship are the main reasons why does Cartier jewelry hold its value. Cartier is infamous for its jewelry creations over the centuries. And based on what I've read, uh, it was England's King Edward VII who declared Cartier the jeweler of kings and the king of jewelers. That was in the early 1900s. It is a brand renowned for outfitting royalty throughout the world and celebrities through the ages. So do I recommend this piece? Of course. I highly recommend this necklace. It will definitely elevate even your most simple outfit. If your budget allows, buy the ones with diamonds like this one or even the pave, which is quite pricey. You can also opt for the plain one for simpler look it's cheaper than this and they're all classic uh, iconic and elegant anyway so that was it for the review i hope this review is helpful to you especially to those who are eyeing to buy one in the future let me know your thoughts in the comment section about the cartier love necklace as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next one bye